Alright, we are back with Spire Reignited. So I think this time around I would like to start with Agent 9's laboratory. Um, that like monkey guy we unlocked last time. <laughs> That's such an unflattering drawing of him. <laughs> Egg for sale. Okay, actually that, that comes in later. That's actually a post-game thing. Um... There is a skill point um, tied to this mission. Okay. Yeah, I mentioned this before. A lot of people don't like this character or his gameplay style, but I think it's an interesting change of pace. I, I can't say I'd prefer it over Spyro's, but... <laughs> I think he's fun. I don't know. Like, he's definitely very different. I can't say I ever want to play as him over Spyro, but, like, I don't know. It's an interesting change of pace. So, I mentioned this earlier. Oh, yeah, the professor is back. Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> it's implied that he, like, created him, or, like, he's the reason he's, he's like this. I don't know, man. <laughs> so... This is, okay, I gotta tell you, as a kid, I did not like this, because I've never played a game that, um, that played like this before at this point, and even nowadays, I really don't play games that, that play like this. It's a third-person shooter, um, complete with being able to use, like, the trigger button to shoot. Like, it's, it's kind of insane how different this is. It'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up, but, uh, be careful. I think a Rhinoch might be hiding amongst them. Amongst them. <laughs> Among them. Is that still relevant? I don't know when this is going up. Probably like late August. <laughs> I kind of wish there was like an easier, like a lock on. Oh my god, I love the fluff enemy in this stage. It's just a beaker. <laughs> So something kind of, not, or something you should keep in mind about Agent 9. So do you remember like this entire game, I've been saying that the shoulder buttons are like not very useful because it has Spyro do that roll that's not very useful. Um, as Agent 9, these shoulder buttons get like a new functionality. They have you strafe, like straight left and straight right. You can do this normally with the like analog stick. But it might be easier for some players just to, like, hold the button instead. I think this might be a big reason why some people find Agent 9 so frustrating, because, like, this is a very useful tool for his stages. But, like, you've played, like, three games at this point not using the shoulder button, so I'm assuming most players, like, might not... just might assume this is not a feature he can even do, and I... I kind of forgot if this tutorial stage even tells you how to use it. This is by far the largest tutorial stage. I think what we gotta do... Oh. We gotta hit that button. Uh-oh. Yep, okay. These guys would have spawned infinitely regardless, so we do have to take care of that. This is also the longest, like, animal can companion tutorial stage for obvious reasons, because it's just so different. Uh, right there. Oh yeah, and as you'd probably expect, you can go in the first-person mode to get an easier aim as well. Oh my god, I forgot about that! His shots ricochet off walls. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Like, I don't know, it's kind of cool to just, like, spray an entire room in bullets and just see what happens sometimes. <clears throat> These indicators show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal, and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Sniper mode is the first person mode. Oh, whoops.
There we go. Simple enough. Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. I think there's some stuff behind here too. Oh, whoops. Again, the controls are a little hard to get used to, but they're not that bad. Take this from a guy who hates games that normally- who normally hates games that play like this. Like, I am not a shooter guy at all, but like this- I don't know, th th this really does control like baby's first shooter game, but it it's- it's got enough going for it that I just think it's kind of fun. You know, in moderation, of course. I would not like to play a whole game like this. <laughs> Oh, kind of like with Spyro and different playstyles, these never overstay their welcome, and I enjoy that. Then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. I forgot about this button functionality. You can- Oh, why? <laughs> you can zoom in to get- Hold on. Get out of here. There's the last one. Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or a dragon egg. So what do you think? Bula. Now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in here. <laughs> All right. They will immediately start like flying at you and attacking you. I I'd recommend just like getting back into this corridor. This is kind of a hard mode version of what you just did. Remember that you can zoom in and just snipe them from like this little alcove over here. Hey, what am I doing? There we go. They'll like auto go to these uh to these nests which makes them kind of easy to take out. That's gonna get him. Yep, okay. Oh. Not quite. Uh, where are the last two? There's one. In there. Is that gonna be able to hit you? Wait, where'd you go? Oh. Gotcha. There we go. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Uh, follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot. I'm actually going to take him over here first because there's a skill point you can get in the stage for destroying all the palm trees, and you need these bombs to destroy the palm trees. <clears throat> and there are some at the start of the level. Right, okay, this is a little janky. There we go, okay. And zoom in. Nope. <laughs> Look at the lighting effect on the balloon. Purple gem, that's rare.
Oh, wait. I had to come back here anyway for this, too, so that's nice to grab. I'm curious, can your own explosion hurt you? No, it can't. Okay, that's good to know. The reticle is extremely helpful. Like, I'd recommend just paying attention to that um, more than anything else. And there's a secret back here. Now, I actually think this is kind of clever. You'll notice that the top, um, the, uh, the, 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 like, top lightning is missing. That's because you're supposed to throw it over it in order to destroy that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Is actually something you can do for a uh, uh, for an for another egg out here. There's a skill point. Okay. All right. Now zoom in if you gotta, but like basically, yeah, you just have to like just destroy all these guys. Try to, like, intercept where they're going. There we go. Uh, okay, Sparks is at his max, so I don't need to kill that thing. Well, I did anyway. <laughs> Might kill. Oh, that actually bounced off the. <laughs> uh, oh, gotcha! Jumped out just in time, and there we go. That's the stage. Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Again, I, I think Agent Nine's kind of fun. I don't know, man. Rowan. Oh, yeah, here's something else I never mentioned about the Professor. I was mentioning... I was meaning to talk about this. I need more bombs. I was meaning to talk about this the entirety of the second game, but I just forgot, and this is the only stage he appears here, so I might as well talk about it now. The Professor had an idle pose in the original game that I absolutely loved. But, like, he doesn't do it in this version for some reason. That actually kind of disappointed me, to be honest. Um, is that all of them? We are missing some. Okay, we're only missing, like, five, or not many. I think we're missing some balloons. Okay, so, like, what the idol pose was, was like, oh. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no, oh no. He would like look at his clipboard and then go like, no, no. And he would like randomly say no and then just occasionally would go, aha! I always love that animation, but he doesn't do it in this version for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, Professor's a funny character. I think this is the last we see him actually. 
Yes, okay, I knew it was some balloons, because I always forget to grab these. Oh, there's a lot up there. It's strange, but you can hit the, the vase. You don't have to hit the balloon. It doesn't make it, like, easier. Or it does make it easier, but, like, it's not as hard as it looks. There we go. Hitbox is pretty lenient on those two. And I see some balloons over there as well. You know, I'm curious about something. No, okay, I, I, no way. I don't know why I even thought you could do that. <laughs> oh, I want to show off, like, a little funny, um... I don't want to call it a glitch, but, like, a weird interaction you can have. It does not have a drop shadow. Okay, there's something kind of funny I did when I first played this remake. Yes, this! <laughs> you could just have it, like, just float above you. Then it can, like, block your shots out. I think it's kind of funny. Oh. Still don't have everything. Oh god, you're pointing back to the star of the stage. Always forget to grab this one. Someone set up the b what? <laughs> what the hell is the professor planning? <laughs> Looks kind of scary. What's that in the center? Is that meant to be Spyro? Let's head back. Now with that out of the way, I think we actually are ready to go back and do a bunch of cleanup stuff. So let's go ahead and start with Lost Fleet. Yeah, because we have a hunter back too, so... So we, we, we can just do everything now. I forgot that a whirlwind does open up in this stage. It just opens over here for some reason. And it also like drops you. Typically most whirlwinds put you into like a put you into like a like a gliding um, state. That one doesn't for some reason. Where am I still missing gems? Those guys? Yeah, you are pointing at that one guy. <laughs> that is not what I was trying to do, but it worked. Oh, okay. these whirlwinds. There we go. I don't know where you're pointing. There is, like, landmass back there, but I thought I got that already.
Those guys just popped into reality. <laughs> Is it in the acid? This is a skeleton on that bow. That's kind of morbid. Can I knock it out? Okay, okay. In here? Oh, I always forget about this! Yeah, okay, that's where that is. Yeah. Chad! <laughs> forget about that one. I, mean, I I know you get... Okay, when I said earlier that I know you get an egg by swimming through the acid, I always think it's, like, in the acid. And I think you're pointing towards the, um, the sub area now with Hunter we couldn't do earlier, so yeah, I, I... Why did that happen? Did I bump on, like, a wall or something? I think we are good to start this. God damn it. Okay. Oh, what luck. Okay, let's actually do this now. Slug. I stuck up for you though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. <laughs> so, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Right on! You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the charge button. Good luck! This is kind of a cool mechanic. So, like, yeah, it's it's a race on your skateboard. But, um, oh, that is a horrible start. <laughs> it's a race on your skateboard, but there's this... There's the really interesting caveat that, like, it still kind of kind of manages to, like, have its cake and eat it, too, with the whole trick system. Because um, doing uh, doing tricks actually um, actually gets you a... Uh, it actually... Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Doing tricks actually gets you, um, boost. Like in a lot of races, you can... There we go, nice. Like in a lot of races, you can also, um, like, pick up items and, like, just use them. I have a habit of accidentally holding on to my boost for way too long when I play this, because I get a lot. Because I'm, I'm constantly doing tricks, and, like, there's not really much of a penalty for, a. Uh... I mean, there is a penalty, of course. Like you're seeing it now. Like you, you get put a little voice back, like in a, uh, like in Mario Kart. But like, if I remember, like the first race is kind of easy, but then there's like a jump. Okay, then there's like a um a separate one you can do for a time attack, which is actually like really hard. Uh, am I gonna make it? No. Whatever's in your mouth actually persists in your. That guy gave me a boost. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude! Oh no. Oh, i surprised I made that. Why did that knock me off? This race is kind of jank, but I don't know, man. I think it's kind of fun. I do think the boost system's a bit more of, like, a win-more mechanic, though. Because, like, you know, if you boost off a ramp, you get more height, which means you can do more tricks, which means you can get even more height. Or get more boost. Uh, I might lose just because I did that. 
You're taking the short... I did not know these guys could take the shortcuts. Oh, I got second! I can beat these guys with my tail tied behind my back. I hope you do better this time or we'll never live it down. Alright! Okay, that was close, though. Oh, hold on, I gotta pop up. There we go. What? I totally landed that. Unlike in the, um, the, like, normal skateboarding stages, I... <laughs> what happened there?! <laughs> I'll take it! I got the boost for it, but, like, that looked wrong! <laughs> what? I forgot was on what I was gonna say that was so wild! <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, well, we got back here. Okay, I'll just shoot that at you. We'll start to get our boost back. Am I gonna land the lava? Oh my god. I need this to catch up, I think. I did not get it. Uh, I'm gonna go for this ramp here. I jumped too high. Oh, he's not taking the shortcut. Which means I can... Which means I think I guaranteed myself a w What hit me?! What did I bump on?! Oh, pff, No. Ooh! Triple Twisted Line gets you a full bar, apparently. Oh, I think I remember what I was going to say. I, unlike in the normal, um, skateboarding stages, I don't- oops. I don't think, um, like, like, tricks have diminishing returns. So if you do, like, the same one twice in a row, you don't get, like, a diminish in your- Ah! No, we're resetting that. You don't get, like, a diminish in how much boost it gives you, kind of like how you would get a diminish in how many points it gets you. Here we go. Okay, Twisted Lemon and Twisted Limes are just how you do it. I, I did not attack you, but I'll take it. <laughs> That's going well so far. I'm actually gonna just grab this for- I did not grab that for safekeeping. Please, okay, thank you. Don't- oh my god! Uh-oh. I'll take it. Oh! Ah. That works. Nice. I don't know why that happens. A 
But maybe there is, like, a diminishing in how many uh, points those get you. Yeah, because that'd be kind of broken if you could just, like, spam it over and over again. <laughs> Get what's knocking me off there. Well, we're gonna win anyway. Wow, okay, I hope the time trial does or the time attack doesn't go like that, because you have to you do have to like do this fast enough. Oliver. Why'd you go way over here to open that? Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Want to give it a shot? All right! Eat my skate dust, sucker! This one's kind of hard, actually. I think how I did this as a kid is, like, I spent the first lap focusing on the crabs, and then the next two laps on just, like, getting, uh oh on just, like, getting ahead of Hunter. Oh, you can flame him, too! <laughs> Get owned, Hunter. I forgot if there are crabs on the regular route. There are. <coughs> I am not gonna question that one. Oh god, I gotta do the thing over again. I'm still in first, though. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we can... Oh wait, there's still one crab. I think it's in the secret area. Twisted lime. Or was that the twisted lemon? That doesn't really matter, I guess. There it is. That should be enough boost to just finish the race. I'm gonna lap him! <laughs> Get over here. Get over here, Hunter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now you take the shortcut. Get over here. He's <laughs> not even on screen anymore. The whole time while I thought you were just looking for eggs. Hey, speaking of which, one of those crabs was guarding this one. Aiden. All right, now for the hard part. Skateboard record time. You might be able to beat me at skateboarding, but I'd still win in a popularity contest. You might be able to beat Wait, how do I start this? I forgot what the time to actually get is here. That's not gonna do it. land the lava. Oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> oh, come on. Nice.
tricks have diminishing returns. Maybe I shouldn't do them when I'm already full on meter. I mean, I'll do like a like a simple roll if I can. It is more boost, and that's always a good thing. But like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh. I, oh, I did not have much time there to roll. Actually, conserve this so I can go off this ramp, because this ramp can get you a huge amount of, uh... Good! Oh god, this better be... This better be enough for that, um, for that skill point. Okay, don't wipe out the very end. Me as long as I thought it would, huh? Okay, yeah, there's still some treasure on the track we still gotta get, though. Oh god, getting treasure on the race course kind of sucks, because, like, at no point can you, like... Yeah, at no point can you just, like, get off and have, like, Sparks check for you. I can you, like, get out of here? There we go. Uh, not there. It doesn't really matter if we wipe out it. We're just looking for treasure at this point. Oh, there's some. I did not know you could do a half-pipe jump there. That looked really weird. Is that all of it, actually? I feel like I have it all on the... on that route. Let's check this one real quick. Uh, oh, um... Okay! <laughs> We're still missing some in there, though. What are you pointing at? Oh no, it's a cringe ramp. Oh, I see it, I see it. That is sneaky. I think it'll let me go backwards at this point, so this is just, like, easy to get. Oh, wow, there's, like, a couple here. There's all the treasure, and we have 100% lost fleet. <laughs> Dude, I love how jank the skateboard is. Like, it was more tight in the original game, but, like, I kind of like it more here. I don't know, like... <laughs> It seems like they'll let you get away of a lot more than you n normally would be able to, and I think that's kind of fun. Okay, let's actually get out of here now. I've had enough of this stage. Wait, oh, I could have just warped to what I need to do next. Fireworks Factory. You're doomed! Right, because there's an Ancient Nine mission here. fix the rocket oh oh okay so this is really different oh, hi <laughs> uh this section plays like doom for some reason 
and use the roll left and roll right buttons to dodge. Yeah, they call it the roll left and roll right buttons. That's so weird. This is a section where the uh, the ricochet uh, the ricochet shots can really help you. I, I forgot you can jump while do while in this. <laughs> For some reason, Sparks isn't with you. Instead, oh, uh, instead you just have a, like a flat health bar. Like you know, this is actually Doom. <laughs> that kind of sucks though, because it means that Sparks can't pick up these gems. You gotta do it manually. It also means that if uh, if for some reason you don't get all the gems, uh, you have to just run through the whole thing over again to find him. But are you okay? I... Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's implied Sparks is with you, because, you know, you still kill butterflies to get health back, but, like... He just doesn't act like Sparks? I don't get it. Oh, you're gonna... I'm gonna let you, like, hit the wall instead. Uh, hi. <laughs> Who needs jump scares in video games? Just hide enemies behind you in a first-person perspective. If you want to jump right in front of me, where are they falling from? Okay, I think this way leads to, like, not the way forward, so I'm gonna come here first. And I thought there'd be treasure in here. Okay. It's a treasure I missed there, because he got no draw range here. They're on the ceiling! That's so good! Is that where they were coming from? I really not see me? Wait, what is going on with the AI? They don't react to that. <laughs> Something hit me. Where got behind me? No. There we go. That is not all the treasure. That kind of worries me. Patty. <clears throat> it's just like he's still pointing the gun at the child. Oh, oh no! Oh, I remember this part. Okay, this was... 
kind of hard as a kid because wait, I remember there being a time limit. Uh oh. Is there no time limit anymore? Or was I misremembering that? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Oh, right, right. Okay, so I guess we're not done yet. We still gotta... <laughs> we gotta go save Handle now. That guy's running away from me. Hold on. Okay, you can't hit me. No one else has noticed me. I'm curious about something. Eh, you can knock them off the ceiling before they get to you. This part gets kind of heavy with the enemy spam, from what I remember. Although it is like the same layout, it's just like more enemies to take care of. There's a box here. Yep. Is there one on the other side? Yes. Oh, there's one in each corner of the room. Okay. Oh, what? Oh. You. That's a pretty flat number. I'm willing to bet that, like, I can probably get it just by completing this stage. Hi, uh... The, the golden number for, like, for, like, knowing you've 100%, you're, like, on the road to 100% of stage is when it's, like, it's like a, it's like a factor of five, because, like, it's so easy at that point to be like, oh, I just missed a purple gem. If you're missing, like, three, though, like, I get more worried missing three gems than I do missing five gems, if that makes sense. There's a spawner over there. Yep, okay. might die here. all the dragons at least. I am missing 10 gems. Let's get back out and just see what, what Sparks they Oh, Sparks is saying they're in there. Okay, we missed a few. There's one. Oh, there's the other. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. There we go. Nice. All right, now for Honey Speedway. Hunter's Narrow Escape.
Okay. All right, what you got for us this time? There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me. I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge. You wait here, I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. Okay, here I go. Um. Oh, you don't want to get hit by all this shit. Okay. I have no memory of this mission, which tells me that it's either, like, way too easy or, like, so bullshit that I forced it out of my memory, so I'm a little worried here. <laughs> this seems kind of easy so far. I don't get how, how Hunter just has all this shit. Like, he has a pet manta ray, he has, like, three different biplanes, he has a boat, like, he has a jetpack, like... <laughs> Like, how does he get these? Does the professor supply them? Is this explained in, like, any other Spyro game? Admittedly, I've only played one other one. Wow, that was easy. Uh, I've played, like, one of the Game Boy Advance ones and, and like, didn't really like it very much. I've always wanted to play more Spyro games, but, like, I just hear they're not very good, aside from the, uh, the original trilogy. Oh, there we go. We've 100% at this stage. Actually, did I get all the skill points? I didn't get Agent Nine's power up. Let's go do that real quick. I need to look up what that is actually, because I don't remember. Oh, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so hear me out here. Okay, get out of here. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. After- oh, oh. Okay, notice how there's not anything up there. Once you clear the room, allegedly... Turn around. Oh, hold on. And then, like... God! That's kind of crazy looking. Are you really expected to like- Oh my god, why do I have one health? I died. <laughs> Did I unlock like second chance from Kingdom Hearts or something? What was that about? Well, there's that skill point. Alright, um, let's actually go to- go back to Midnight Mountain. Okay, I know we're at, like, a little under an hour, and I'd like to leave it off here, but, like, I kind of want to do one stage anyway, because I really like the Midnight Mountain levels. What is the easiest just to complete? God, I, 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 there's, like, one stage here I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really like Ancient or Desert Ruins that much. Every other stage I absolutely love. Like, Crystal Islands is fun. Ancient Tomb is fun. Dynamines is especially fun. I might save Dynamines for next time. 
Let's do Haunted Tomb. Now, this is another stage theme that's, like, kind of unique to this game that we've never seen before. It's Egyptian-themed. Ah, Dan. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock, or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? I hate puzzles like that. Uh, so this stage has some fun gimmicks. Um, first off, it's like the one mission where you actually have to pay attention to the NPCs because they keep giving you riddles. We got these mummy rhinox, and I, th I know there's a way to destroy those, I just forgot what it is. Those can be killed uh, however you want. These. This is how you destroy them. There we go. I really like the um, the redesign of those dogs as well. Wait, what? They're not armored. Uh, I guess I gotta kill them with this then. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I like the look of this enemy. Like, that's such a... Like, look at what these guys looked like in the original. That is such a cool-looking redesign. I like how they, like, fizzle away when you kill them. Like, they're made out of, like, spirit or something, as opposed to something organic. <laughs> oh, okay, I need to actually not hit a wall or anything. There we go. Oops. I don't know where those are coming from, but... Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. Uh... Uh, there we go. Oh my god, and like, the fluff enemy are scarabs, or the fluff animal? Like, th seriously, this is a really creative stage. I really like it. Isn't there a skill point, like, in this room? Destroy all seaweed? Wait, no, that's that's a different one. Oh! In here. Yeah, I don't know, just swim in the dark hole. You get a skill point. <laughs> okay, good, it didn't hit the small guy. Alright, toss me one. I mean, they infinitely respawn, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't kill them. This part's kind of tough. Ah, okay. I, I know you're meant to, like, you know, watch the drop shadows there, but they just feel so random. <clears throat> Here's an egg. Christina. Or Christine.
Where is the switch? Oh, is that it? I guess so. That kind of looked like it'd be the switch for the other door, but I guess that's how they trick you. <laughs> ah, come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get out of here. Wait, can I not pick the. Do I ever have something in my mouth? I might have. That. Huh. Okay. Now we don't have sparks anymore. Oh, whoops. Okay, that, I completely overshot that. A sarcophagus kind of guy? Do I get that for destroying every sarcophagus guy? <laughs> okay, where are we? Uh, we, okay, I gotta push this again. Laser time. <laughs> I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember the riddle? I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid, yet within my walls. A bandicoot. <laughs> that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well, a bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. Will. Something very different with the stage is that the NPCs don't follow you to the overworld because, again, we're in the final world. We don't... ...for someone to solve that riddle. finally head off the seashell shore to bury some bones. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he actually does leave. Or, does he? Okay, bye. <laughs> he doesn't, like, you know, appear to, like, open... Or to, like... Oh, go oh, this... This mission. Oh, my God. This had me stuck for hours as a kid, this one. Okay. there. Uh, again, this is the final world, so, like, you don't actually, like... The he doesn't appear in, like, the place of the rocket ship to build a new vessel. Um, instead, he just kind of disappears. Okay, okay, this, this freaked me out. I hated this mission as a kid. This, I think this is one of the hardest missions in the game, honestly. It's exactly what it looks like. It, it's, it's a really long slide where there are, like, no guardrails for, like, half of it. You can, like, ram into the walls to slow down, and I swear you have to- Wait, what? That was it? That was Malcolm. Kid me was an idiot! I thought that was difficult! I- Okay, I guess. <laughs> Screw you, game. <laughs> Okay, and the other, um, sub- or the sub-area- th there are actually two sub-areas here. Uh, I don't have much memory of this one. What the heck? Uh, I guess they didn't want me going that way. <laughs> the riddle is this. 
If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how That's a fucking math problem. <laughs> Twelve thousand? It's just a multiplication answer. Wait, what? The first round of the riddle is very impressive. It's literally twelve times one. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. Like <laughs> Okay. This, this comes out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, I see you. Oh! Oh. Strafing is extremely useful here. Can I not reach that? You could do that! <laughs> Just drive the whole thing off a cliff. Oh, I Damn it! Oh, whoops. That's got him. Okay, good. Well, well, that was a fierce battle indeed. Please I think there's a second, um, section, or a second egg to this. MJ, what? <laughs> ah, yes, Michael Jackson was known for his juggling. I'm out of here. My, such a brave reptile you are, but you need much more than bravery to win the championship. I'm still at green health. Oh my god, that goes like the entire length of the stage. That's got you. You can actually see the Rhinox behind the pots, and that's how you're meant to, to like, take care of these a lot easier. I, uh I might let one of you just kill me so I can, um... If you want to play that way, I'll just lob that at you instead. Yes, the Egyptians were known for their hovercrafts. I see a fluff enemy over here. Can I hit you, like, over the wall? Yeah. Wow, that wasn't as bad as I remember it being, either. The, <laughs> the thing still exploded in the background. TJ! Uh, Tychel Jackson. <laughs> Oh, did I not get that guy's gem? 
Oh god, I forgot how you're meant to get magma balls once you've killed everything. I know there's a way- oh, okay, hey, here we go, thank you. Oh, that's all the gems, okay. I actually forgot what this Agent 9 mission is. Dogs with the funny hats? Do with this character. What's going on here? Okay. Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> Shadow. Are you mad? What? The more you take? Time? Is it footprints or footsteps? Whatever that was? I hate puzzles like this. I really do. <laughs> okay, here's the other thing that can kind of... Get me to understand why a lot of people don't like Agent 9. He has, like, a lot of different, like, gameplay styles. Like, they give you this whole ass, like, level to learn how to use him, but then, like, in, like one other or two other of his stages, why would you go to the center of the room? Actually has, um... Oh, actually, like, has him play, like, how he quote-unquote normally plays. I remember this not being too bad, actually. The ricocheting shots can actually help you a lot here, but they'll most likely help you out by complete accident. <laughs> yeah, like that right there. I love that the shots ricochet, even if they don't really do much, to be honest. Oh, there's a fluff in I, I am missing one health, so yeah, I'll grab it. Oh, uh, hi. Okay. I think we need bombs to destroy these. Oh no, you can just shoot him! Again, like, there's not much, like... I, I, I really wish, like, there were more stages that, like, played in Agent 9's default, like, gameplay style. Play Gauntlet Dark Legacy one of these days. That's a that's another really good game that I kind of grew up with. Oh, do I need do I need something special? Oh, okay, you do need bombs to take care of them. Okay, but like they throw the bombs instead. Yeah, it's like how you take care of them with Spy. It's like how you take care of them with Spyro. <laughs> oh, that's a one up. I guess I gotta wait for it to cool. Did you hit, like, the corpse of an enemy there? Okay, that's cooled down. That should be it. Oh, there we go! Wow, that was easy. Roxy. And I think that's the entire stage 100%ed. God, I really like this level. I, I don't know why I thought that was as hard as it- or that was, like, way harder than it actually is. Like- <laughs> But yeah, that's Haunted Tomb. If you're wondering, I am going to 100% every stage before I do the Sorcerers, just because that's how I like to play.
Alright. I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.